Welcome back. There's no question Vince Lombardi put the Green Bay Packers on the map, but it was his keen eye as a scout and coach that helped him to get there as we welcome back in John Mino into the Building the Pack special. Johnny had a chance to meet one of the first that Lombardi had lays eyes on as a scout. You're exactly right. Vince Lombardi's first draft included a local ball player originally from Berlin, Wisconsin, who will freely admit life as an NFL draftee, boy, has it changed. Bill Butler still remembers the day he and his buddies donned their first football uniforms. Still remembers teammates from long ago. Dean Derby, Suitcase Simpson. And will never forget the day he received a phone call following the 1959 draft. I got a telephone call from Jack Fenisi, and he told me that I was drafted. But Butler, a two-sport star at Tennessee Chattanooga, did have options. Do I go baseball? Do I go to Canada where I would definitely stand a good chance? Or would I go to Green Bay? Green Bay won out for a very practical reason. I felt that if I didn't make the team, I only had 65 miles to get home. Butler was the 19th of the Packers' 30 draft picks that year. Think he got a signing bonus? No. In fact, uh... Lombardi gave me a bus fare from uh, Chattanooga to Green Bay, and uh, he took it out of my contract, and my contract was $7,000. After one season with the Packers, leading them in kickoff and punt returns, he was grabbed by the brand-new Dallas Cowboys in the expansion draft. He says his jersey is still around. I seen my uniform on... Um, that pawn shop program on TV. After Dallas, it was on to Pittsburgh and then the Vikings. A five-year NFL career. Back in the days when there was no such thing as playing for the big bucks. You even had to buy your own practice shoes. And they paid you $50 an exhibition game. So it wasn't a very lucrative business back then. So, Dan, how would you like to sit through 30 rounds of the NFL draft held nonstop? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like it would be a pretty tough assignment. I love that they didn't give him a signing bonus. He comes up there, John, and they don't pay for his bus fare. Yeah, and they take it out of his <laughs> check. times have changed. And you know what the funniest thing is, Dan? He didn't even take the bus. He drove his own car, but Lombardi still made him pay for that ticket. <laughs>